We're targeting big fish again today, but we got to catch some pinfish. Down here, I got my bucket, my aerator, and my lid. I always keep a rope on this particular bucket so I can just throw this thing over the seawall, scoop up some water. Once I catch some pinfish, I'll put some fresh water in it before I leave. Choice of bait for catching pinfish is going to be squid. I always chop this up before I leave the house. I keep it frozen. I chop it up in little pieces before I come out here. Makes it easier. Little bitty hooks. Small pieces of squid. You usually have to just move around until you find them. They might be here. They might be over there. They might be over there somewhere else. I think I found them. They're hanging out over here by the rocks. Bunch of really, really small minnows, you know? So it's like find the bait, find the fish, right? They're just little guys though, man. We need something bigger than that. It's like trout bait right there. Just not the baits I'm looking for, but I do have an idea for these guys that I think will work. So tug is a drug. Made a quick move over here. They were biting pretty good, but I'm still trying to find something that's bigger. Little guys keep stealing my bait, man. These are a little bit bigger than what I was catching up on the pier. We have made it to where I want to launch. See if I can't get on a big fish today. I probably caught four dozen grunts. Most of them are small, but I figured I'd use the smaller ones for chum. We're definitely targeting some big fish because I really just bought my big rods. If we can't get on a big fish, I can always rig up my little pinfish rod, see if we can catch a keeper sea bass, maybe turn it into a sea bass catch and cook. We'll see what happens, man. All grunts. Three or four of them are dead already. Grunts don't last like pinfish. They're just not as hardy. Close the hatch. Good to go. Hmm. Got a bad connection somewhere. We got a not so we're not going anywhere. What's going on here? Come on, man. There we go. Sometimes you got to give them a little jiggle. All right, here we go. So yesterday I got up at 4 o'clock in the morning to go fishing. I fished for about 6 hours, caught a few fish. I'm going to put those clips in here while we're just sitting here waiting for a bite. You guys can see what you missed yesterday. Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. I'm doing a little kayaking this morning. It's been crazy trying to get out here on the water. But I'm out here with my buddy Otis. He is the fishing master over there. and. Uh, He's got me out here in a spot I've never fished before, so see if we can't get something. It's a late start here. We've been trying to get out of the wind and the rain, but it's looking pretty calm. See if we can't find something. There we go. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Little guy. Got him on the mirror, Dean. Little snook. All right. Well, there are fish here. Good deal. Oh, come on, little guy. Take a little picture here. We'll let you go. Man, he is ready. He's like, let go of me. See you later. Woo! All right. Mirror Dean, baby. Woo! Man, guys, slow grind out here. 
I've been out here two hours, caught one little trout and one little snook. My buddy's caught two snook. But we are, uh, it is the, it's the freaking heat of the day here, man. Yeah, it's getting, that sun's getting up there. It's starting to cook good. The clouds have gone away. <laughs> Maybe the fish are starting to bite. I hear my buddy over there. He just lost one. All right, let me get back on it. Yeah, little snooky. Ooh, I just saw a good one pop up there, man. Oh yeah. There he is. Saw him chasing bait up there, man. Snook. Yeah. Right in that second little cove, they're chasing bait up in there. Yeah. He's a little guy. They, they were chasing bait, man. They they popped up there. There may have been a couple of them up in there. Was that not that that straight off your bow, right where that bird is? Come on, little guy. Come on in here. Man, he jumped all over that spoon. As soon as it hit the water, he grabbed it. Yeah. Thanks for the catch, little guy. See ya. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put some dead bait on this other rod, some cut bait in the strangest position. I got a cut bait on this side and a live bait on this side. Yeah, he's got it. I think he's coming to me. He's got it. There he is. Oh, I lost him. Dang it, man. <laughs> Dang it. I couldn't tell if he was on there. He was coming to me. Ah. There we go. There we go. What do we got here? What do we got? Doesn't feel like a snook. Oh, big old red grouper. Big red grouper. Got him on a grunt. He was chowing down on a grunt. Well, we finally got us the catch. Big old fat red grouper, man. Good sizing right there. Nice. See you, buddy. Woo! Lots of them little red groupers around, man. Lots of those little guys around here. Look at that little tarpon delight going on there. Seven on extra strong hook. Yeah, baby. Ha! Ah, I'm doing some lazy man fishing now. This tide is really slowing down, so I got a small grunt on a five aught hook on a bobber, and then I got a big old wad of cut bait on my other rod. I got 60 pound test leader on both rods. One's got 30 pound test braid, the other's got 50 pound test braid. And I'm hoping to get hooked up with another tarpon. That's kind of my plan here. So I got one bait on the bottom and I got one up top suspended with a live bait. Beautiful day, man. I'm just kicked back here in my old town 106 Sportsman. Powered by Mancota. Not powered now. I got it, got it anchored down with my quick release anchor system. Fishing for trophy fish, man beautiful day it's like overcast it's been been out here been like this for three hours all i caught was that little red grouper i had a bunch of hits over there under the bridge no telling what they were though could have been anything i'm having fun though it'll all be worth it if i get hooked up with the big old tarpon i mean i don't know if i'm in the right spot or not all i know is i'm in the area where i was at last time a couple weeks ago when i hooked up that big old tarpon was right in this area so i figured hey he was hanging out there then maybe they're hanging out here now <laughs> all right so 
a good hit. Yep, here we go, here we go, here we go. He's got it. Let him let him run with it. Get the spade in. Nice little guy. Big old sea bass. Woo! Look at that. There's my keeper sea bass. Fishing for tarpon, I catch a keeper sea bass. I'm gonna measure this guy. I guarantee you he's 10. He's almost, he's almost 10 and a half. Yeah, keeper sea bass, all right. Woo, it looks like we're gonna be doing a catch and cook, I think. I don't have any ice. I'm just gonna put this guy in the live well. Let him swim around in there with the, with the grunts. Yeah, woo. I was so excited. I was sitting here and that drag went zoom and I'm like go oh, we got a hit we got a hit and it went zoom again oh doggone it man oh well hey at least I got a keeper sea bass today wasn't even fishing for it way cool man way cool all right well I got a live grunt out and I got cut up grunt on the bottom still hanging out the tide still just barely creeping along waiting for that tarpon baby I went on Amazon the other day, found me some Rax water shoes. These things are really nice. I'll put a link in the description area, you guys. What I like about them is the sole. Look at that. I mean, I can jump out of the kayak if I step on a shell. I don't have to worry about it going, going through that. I mean, that's like a tennis shoe sole, but it's got the, it's got the really fine mesh on the sides. You can see my finger right there it's got the mesh so they dry quickly and uh yeah i like these things man hopefully they'll hold up but put a link in the description area you guys can go check them out doesn't feel very big though bigger than i thought Hope it's not a kitty. Stand down. Yep. That's what happens when you fish with cut bait. You catch the kitties. Look at how fat his belly is. Been chowing down. Alright, Mr. Channel Cat. I'm gonna let you go, Joe. giving up on the tarpon I've been out here about four hours zero tarpon one catfish one red grouper one sea bass and uh, some good hits I'm heading to the car I'm gonna grab my 2500 Daiwa BG we're gonna go over and see if we can catch some keeper sea bass to go with the one keeper we got all right all right all right I got us rigged up with a little paddle tail here and uh, yeah let's head to the sea bass hole see if we can't catch some keepers remember I figured out they just like it they just like to drag it on the bottom. That's all they want. There he is. There he is. Just drag it on the bottom. I hope we got some keepers in here today. It's been a couple weeks since I've been here. So those ones that were short should be long enough now. Unless somebody came in here and caught the keepers. Let's see what this guy measures. He's going to be close. He's going to be really close. Can you believe it? nine and seven eighths first fish see ya ah. oh here we go well that's a good one feels like another grouper this grouper got a different kind of a fight in the sea bass if it's a sea bass it's a whopper oh dang it was a huge sea bass dang it oh it was a big sea bass ah crap <laughs> i'm sure i just lost a keeper 
Man, that was a big sea bass. Dang it. There we go. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Ah, grouper again. Dang it. Pretty little guy. See ya. Oh, I got a big fish. I got a big fish. Big fish. Darn phone's ringing. I'm hooked up. Oh, this is a good one here. This is a good one. Good fish. Good fish. Come on, be a keeper sea bass. Oh, it's a big, big black grouper. Big black? I think it's a black. Man, that is a big grouper. Wow, look at the size of that thing. Woo! Nice, man. Big old grouper. Oh, look at that grouper. Big old grouper, man. It's a black right there. Nice. I saw him down there. I thought it was a sea bass, man. Woo! <laughs> Ten and an eighth. Nice. Woo! Two keepers. Oh, there's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good fish. That's a really good fish. Ah, grouper. Dang it, man. Hey! These little guys fight like crazy. Such good fighters, man. Grouper. The red. Another red grouper grouper. These things are so pretty, man. <laughs> 